What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here. Now, I've had to kind of change my plans because I originally intended to have the top 25 PS3 games up today actually, um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get that finished, so I had to change it with the video that I planned for Tuesday, so you'll get that video on, on Tuesday the 31st of December. And talking about that day, um, 2013, it's almost over. What a year it was, I mean a lot of stuff happened. Now, I wanted to, do, to just um, talk about a bit about the things that happened this this year, you know, for me, for in, in terms of just the, the year itself, you know, the games that came out, uh, my YouTube channel, all those those kinds of things, and yeah, I have a lot to say about that. It could, you know, end up being quite a long video, but uh, like I said, a lot happened this year, and I thought it was an amazing year, so let's just immediately get into it. Um, the year itself, it started off incredibly well with the announcement of the PlayStation 4, which, um, you know, it, it was teased on February the 1st, I believe, and then the announcement actually was on the, on the 20th of February. And this just felt really good to me because I had been talking about the PlayStation 4 for quite a long time, you know, for a few months. And I, I, I had said so many times that I thought it would come out in 2013. And it was great to finally get that announcement. You know, me personally, I was really, I really needed a new console generation because I, I got you know, kind of tired of the old one, the PlayStation 3, I got tired of it, I had been playing on, on it for five years at that point. And, you know, all the games, they kind of became the same and you know, like I said, I, I just really needed something new. And with the announcement and the release of the PlayStation 4, uh, you know, they brought that for me. And I was really happy with that. Then I think one of the other things I should mention, which was, um, you know, something that really kept me busy in the, in the months of July and August and September, was the final season of Breaking Bad, you know, a TV series that I really enjoyed. I, I had been enjoying it already for like two years, um, you know, since I got into it. And the final season, I was really looking forward to that. And those final eight episodes man they were amazing they were really just you know incredibly enjoyable to watch and this is probably the final time that I can uh, talk to you about this if you haven't seen Breaking Bad yet go start that TV series now because you will regret it if you don't at least you know if you are aware how amazing that series is because it truly is and uh, I think it's one of the best things I have seen in my life and I could recommend it to everyone you know I made a few videos about it but still you know, this final time, I want to recommend you to watch that, to at, at least, you know, just watch the first episode for yourself and see if you like it, because it is amazing. Um, and then the final thing probably is the announcement of Uncharted 4, which happened in uh, November, November the 15th, actually, at the launch of the PlayStation 4. Also something that I had been talking about pretty much the full year, maybe even more than a year, and it was great to finally see that happening. Now, we don't know yet a lot about the game, we just have seen, you know, that small teaser trailer that they, um, yeah, that they pretty much much unveiled on the 15th of November but uh, I thought it was amazing and you know I can't wait to see more of that game because it's probably my most an most anticipated game uh, you know for the coming year if it comes out in 2014 or, or, or else you know in 2015. In terms of the games the year started off really strong with Bioshock Infinite in March but at the same time you know I thought that people were kind of exaggerating how, how good that game was because it was a really good game I gave it an 8.5 and my first review that I ever did on my channel um, but you know I thought that pretty much looking back at it you know after a few months you could see that that game definitely had its flaws it had an amazing story but at the same time you know the gameplay was a bit flawed and uh, not really that fun so you know I still stand by my review score of an 8.5 and I think that game was really good but probably my game of the year would be The Last of Us which came out in uh, June I've been looking forward to that for a long time of course by the creators of Uncharted my favorite franchise ever at least so far um, Naughty Dog of course you know I been like I said looking forward to that game for a very long time and it didn't disappoint in any way it was a great game both in single player and multiplayer so um, yeah I definitely had a lot of fun playing that GTA 5 came out in September probably the most anticipated game overall of the year uh, you know definitely like we we had a really strong strong year in terms of all the games but GTA 5 in my eyes was probably um, one of the disappointments actually I, I did enjoy playing it but I didn't really think it was that different from 4 and a lot of the things that I didn't really like from GTA 4 they didn't improve on that like the controls and stuff it was still pretty um, pretty I don't know how to say that but the controls weren't really that great and uh, like I said I didn't really think that they improved on a lot of things the ending of the game really disappointed me I thought the overall plot was pretty weak 
uh, where GTA 4 spoiled, I really enjoyed. Uh, but of course, the world was amazing, and GTA Online had a lot of trouble. Um, didn't really play that, actually. I played it for a few hours, but kind of got boring already, and... Like I said, GTA 5, I have to be honest there, was a bit of a disappointment for me. Probably also because it was so close to the release of the next-gen consoles. Um, and that was basically what I have been uh, playing, you know, for the past couple of months. The games I'm really playing right now are Battlefield 4 and Assassin's Creed 4. And I have to say, where I initially was pretty skeptical about Assassin's Creed 4, that game is really, really... Uh, it, it has really amazed me, to be honest. Like, I've been playing it for the, uh, for the few uh, weeks that, it, that I have the PlayStation 4 now. And, man, it's so much fun to play. And I, I think that the, the setting they created is really awesome. Like, I'm a bit tired of the Assassin's Creed franchise. I have been for the past couple of years since Assassin's Creed 2 pretty much because all those games that came out after it didn't really do any new things but with Assassin's Creed 4 you know I think that the setting they created is really uh, a big improvement over the other games and as long as they you know have a great setting and they they have some innovations in terms of the gameplay I think that you know they can really satisfy me with those games I just hope that in the future you know we won't get these annualized releases because um, you know, I want there to be kind of like a, a time gap in between all those uh, releases. You know, I want to, to take a break for, you know, one or two years, well, actually two. Um, because one year seems to me that it's not really that much of a break, and then once I pick it up again, it feels like the same game. I have to say, like I said, that Assassin's Creed 4 does feel really fresh and I'm really happy with that so I'll be enjoying that for sure and Battlefield 4 you know with this experience on the next gen consoles 64 players much improved graphics and 60 frames per second um, it is the definition of next gen for me and it uh, it truly showcases you know what is possible with the next generation of consoles uh, and then finally I should talk about the channel overall I started off this year on my YouTube channel with 5k subscribers 5,000 and I'm ending it right now with over 20,000 now that's that's a pretty big step because um, I started with YouTube at the beginning of 2012 so I kind of um, uh, managed to get a total of 5,000 people in the first year which was amazing but now to see that increasing with like 400% it's insane and I really have to thank you for that of course um, you know all the support that you are giving to me you know watching all these videos I'm really really happy with that and uh, I mean to just think that you know uh, me being here at the end of 2014 making the same sort of video and saying that I once again increased with 400% which would be 80,000 that would be insane I don't think that will be happening actually but you know just realizing that is an insane thought and uh, once again just really want to thank you for that this year was pretty much me leaving behind Uncharted 3 which was my main focus the first year that I did YouTube you know I, I totally focused on Uncharted 3 but I wanted to do more I wanted to expand do things that I really like because I didn't just like talking about Uncharted I also like talking about you know gaming in general and why I really find gaming so much fun and um, the things that keep me busy you know all these developments in the whole industry I think that's an amazing thing to talk about and like I said I try to expand and get more people to start uh, uh, watching and at the same time do stuff that I liked more because if I just you know would, would be sticking to Uncharted then I would be getting bored of it really uh, quickly actually and people wouldn't really be watching it anymore so uh, I think I made a great step there now I started with series like the top five trolls and um, kind of in collaboration with Machinima Respawn but I soon realized that that's not really the type of things that I want to do you know I am someone who likes to talk about gaming and uh, the essence of gaming you know having fun with it uh, developments in the industry like I said and I think that I really accomplished that you know right now I think people would see me as a real true gaming channel you know somebody right now um, I can put gameplay of Assassin's Creed in my videos, or of Battlefield, or of Uncharted, and people will watch it anyway. In the first year that I did YouTube, that was completely different. You know, my Uncharted videos would get uh, a few thousand views, and then, you know, if I would do a video on Battlefield or something like that, then that would be maybe 20% of what I would normally get on my videos. You know, a, a really remarkable difference. That isn't there anymore right now. I truly became a gaming channel, and once again, I am really happy with that. Um, one of the downsides of this year for me probably is uh, my good friend George who decided to you know pretty much leave YouTube not uh, make any videos anymore um, yeah that came as a pretty big shock to me I mean you know I, I shared everything with George about YouTube and we made videos at the same time we made videos together uh, we would always discuss these kinds of things and to see him uh, leaving it now leaving YouTube not making any videos anymore 
like I said, it was a really big disappointment to me. He made a he made his last video actually. Uh, I think it was a day ago or, or two days ago actually. So I really advise you to watch that because um yeah you know if you have been following George then uh, you probably want to know what happened to him and what made him decide to quit. So uh, probably go to his channel uh, which is the Legacy Archive and watch his uh, his final video and and wish him the best because I definitely think he deserves that. Uh, finally, some of the videos of this year that stayed by for me probably at the beginning of the year we like me and George actually uh, immediately did the prank call which was a really successful video and I uh, really enjoyed that you know it's something that I don't really do on my channel and it came as a surprise to many people um, you know if you have been missing out on that video then definitely go check it out I will link it here in the video yeah I prank called this this kind of like this uh, young kid who was spamming me on Skype and uh, <laughs> I thought it was really funny a lot of the jokes are related to Uncharted so keep that in mind if you're not familiar with the franchise um, you know, you may not really get all the jokes. Do you mind sharing your stats with me, please? Yeah, well, I got like a ratio of 1.5 or something. What's not pretty good, Robin. Have you been uh, have you been applying the quick tips, which uh, we showed you in our video? Yes, yes, yes. I definitely like, um, you know, the, the wank and roll. <laughs> I did a Looking Back series in collaboration with Machinima and people really enjoyed that, you know, five inst five uh, game franchises that I really enjoyed, like Assassin's Creed, Battlefield and Uncharted, um, you know, it was a really big success. Of course, the videos I made on Uncharted 4, you know, all these kinds of speculation videos and you know, it, it, like Uncharted 4 was the game that I wanted to see announced and I had some really good evidence for it that it would actually be announced very soon um, but at the same time it was kind of this risk you know I'd been talking about the game for a year straight and people really expected it to be announced now you know it's it's um it was a pretty big risk of me to take and I realized that myself you know what if Naughty Dog decides to actually announce a different game what if they've been working on a different game and not on Uncharted 4 then that would be pretty uh, a pretty bad situation for me because I had been talking about this the whole year you know that I I was sure that Uncharted 4 would be announced and luckily you know I was really relieved when they actually did of course I had a lot of evidence for it but um, you know still to see it being announced was a big relief for me because yeah it meant that it is actually coming and like I said, it is my most anticipated game, uh, you know, for the coming one or two years. Now, I did a The Last of Us review, which I was really proud of. I just thought that I summed up all the things uh, really well. And, you know, not that I want to want to talk so uh, good about myself, you know, about the videos that I make. But, you know, I, I was really proud of that video. I thought I did a really good job there. Um, you know, I haven't really done a lot of game reviews. But, uh, you know, I think that that review was really awesome. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you have not seen it, then check it out if you still want. Um, you know, if you're still on the fence about maybe getting The Last of Us or something. Or you just want to watch it for, re for your enjoyment, then I will link it here in the video so hopefully you will check it out if you hadn't already uh, and finally the Naughty Dog interview I was really happy that Eric Monacelli from Naughty Dog agreed to me that he wanted me or that he was you know okay okay with me interviewing him um, so we did that and I thought it was really awesome you know a 20 minute interview on Uncharted on The Last of Us on the upcoming project you know really secretly of course Uncharted 4 but uh, he couldn't really say that of course because they hadn't announced it yet at that point but I thought that was really awesome and um, I hope that I'm you know that I may be able to interview Naughty Dog once again in the future when we know more about maybe Uncharted or something I'll definitely uh, ask him that and then you may see that sometime on my channel as well I'm really happy it's gonna happen and uh, we're, we're excited um, you know and I might be actually shooting myself in the, in the foot here because we have to get sign off from Sony on some of the ideas. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> that was it for 2013. I thought it was probably the best year ever in terms of just, you know, like I said, the games, the year, the channel. I was really happy with it and, um, you know, I hope I really, um, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed all the videos that I uploaded. I will actually have a big survey up here, which you may want to fill out, um, which could really help me for the next year. So please do that. And then this Tuesday will be the top 25 PS3 games, a video that many of you um, will probably be looking forward to. So um, yeah, definitely be sure to check that out on this Tuesday. And then for now, that was it. Let me know what you thought about the year. And then I want to thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you again in 2014.